Um, okay, hello everybody. Uh, I decided to make a video uh, about the knives I own that I can find at least. Um, the first one is the Fury Tactical. If I can get this on. Uh, I got this at Penn's Cave, I'm pretty sure. Um, right there. So, uh, there. When I first got it, the main reason why I got this actually is because I thought it was double-edged. But it isn't just that. Um, I carry this every now and again, but I don't, well, can't really carry it in public that much because, you know, I don't want to freak everyone out. Next one is, I forget this name, but I got this, like, five years ago. So, uh, I mean, it's not bad, but the reason why it has so much delamination in it is because I, this is actually my can opening knife. If I don't have a can opener. Uh, let me see here. We got a super knife. No, I can't fucking read anything. By the way. Okay. Uh. Th this knife isn't a bad knife, but I just don't like how thick it is, especially with this. Um, I just feel it's, it's a knife that they try to make, uh, thick. Just, I don't know. But, um, the black, I feel like it'd be a little bit, uh, slimmer. Uh, but overall, uh, not bad knife. Uh, definitely need to break this in, though. Um, I, I sometimes use this for whittling, too. And, of course, cleaning up. Uh, this one is one of my most expensive ones. Is uh, Rough Rider, Strike It, Strizzity, Strike It Rich. I got this at, uh, our, at, my, at, uh, fuck, can't talk. I was kind of tricked into this, um, at this carnival place that I have around in my town, uh, Perry County. Um, and the guy said, oh, it's, uh, it's the best knife you ever have, excellent durability, which it is, but it was like $30. So, I mean, not a bad looking knife. Not a bad, uh, uh, durability either. Uh, there you go. Can't, probably can't read this. I'll just read it to you. Gold, pan it, dig it, find it. And the other one, uh, strike it rich. So, yeah, it's, uh, tested RR sharp. I don't know what that is. He never told me what that was. Yeah, um, oh, yeah, this one. I found, uh, I use this, like, everywhere, but not in public, uh, this double-edged dagger type thing. Um, I, I don't know, I just find it so weird to hold, like, a knife like this with a double, double edge and these spikes. I just find it really cool just, like, getting in. I actually use this to, like, chop up, like, uh, just, like, whittle stuff and get off bark for, uh, wood fire, whatever. This one is one of my favorites. This one, I feel, was a pretty good deal. Let me just get it out. This is called the Cowboy Toothpick. I, I, this is, like, my favorite knife ever. Um, I kind of like how it's folded. I absolutely adore the handle. Um, I got this for five bucks, which, for Cowboy Toothpick, really is not half bad at all. I got this when I was, like, eight... Nine, I don't know. Um, if you can tell already, I'm a really uh, big knife fan. And we got this one. This one is called. Oh shit, where's the thing at? Oh, uh, it's called Wartex something. Anyway, forget about that. Oh, camera. Okay. Got this. I, I like this knife too because um, what I what I would, I didn't use this knife yet. Um. But if I would use it, I mean, I know it's not for, like, filleting or anything, but I'd like to, like, especially for turtles, uh, the way that their shells are, I'd, you could easily reach in there and claw them. Uh, so, yeah, really like this knife. This knife was $10, I believe. Pretty cheap. Really cheap. Uh, let me see. Oh, yeah, this. This cheap knife. Heritage MFG. I don't know what that stands for. Don't know, can't see it. Uh, you know, just typical pocket knife. <laughs> Nothing really, uh, to that. 
Okay, I bought this also at the uh, at the carnival thing, Heritage Days. Uh, this one was fifteen dollars. Fifteen dollars. Well, I mean, okay, okay, it isn't a knife, but I mean, come on, who doesn't want some ninja stars? So, uh, yeah, got them. Like I said, fifteen dollars, pretty cheap for ninja stars. Um, at least in my opinion. Uh, I think we have uh, two more. Okay, we got this Cabela's. Uh, in my opinion, Cabela's and Bass Pro Shop uh, multi tools are way too expensive for what they are. I mean, yeah, sure, cool multi tool, knife, uh, saw, mini saw, um, screwdriver, um, another knife, um, wire cutters. Sh yeah, sure. But, uh, I got, this was for, like, $30. Um, <laughs> yeah, not, not, not a good price. Um, I actually got this gifted to me for my birthday, I think. Um, but, it, I mean, I'll give it credit, it's a good knife. Hmm. Velcro doesn't even work. Okay, one last more that I can find. Oh, yeah, this one I love. Um, I got this called, there's a marketplace called Zooks that was by me, um, wood handle, real wood, uh, disclaimer, um, 44, I mean, 444 steel, whatever you want to call it, um, of course, made in China, like everything else, um, this is one of my favorite knives I ever had because the length of the blade, perfect for me, and the length of the handle, too. Because, um, this, for a while, I used to use for almost anything except opening cans, which that other one was for. Um, yeah, I use almost everything for this, and I just love the action, just... I could listen to that all day. Uh, so, yeah, that is the knife collection that, uh, I got all the knives that I could find. Um, not necessarily that I have, like, all together. I have, like, Swiss knives. <coughs> oh. Ah, God. Fucking loogie. Anyway. Uh, so that's my, uh, knife collection video. Uh, hope you guys liked it, even though I have no subscribers yet. But, besides the point, I hope you guys liked it, and, uh, see you in the next video. Bye.